Hey listeners, welcome to the RAS ACS and the Behind the Knife journal cast on landmark papers in surgery. My name is Patrick Swigert. I'm a general surgery resident at Loyola University Medical Center, and I will be briefly reviewing the Stampede trial published in the New England Journal in 2012, which was a landmark contribution to the field of metabolic and bariatric surgery, guiding the surgical treatment of obese patients with diabetes. In this study, obese patients with type 2 diabetes treated at a single center were randomized in a non-blinded fashion to one of three treatment arms between 2007 and 2011, comparing intensive medical therapy to intensive medical therapy plus bariatric surgery. Follow-up for the initial publication was one year, however, the five-year outcomes were later reported. Regarding the treatment arms, a third of patients were randomized to intensive medical therapy, or IMT which meant they underwent treatment guided by the ADA guidelines, including lifestyle counseling, weight management strategies, frequent home glucose monitoring, pharmacologic therapies, including the use of newer therapies, and multidisciplinary ambulatory appointments that occurred every three months. Patients randomized to the second group received IMT plus a sleeve gastrectomy, which was performed laparoscopically by a single surgeon The stapler was consistently fired over a 30 French endoscope, resulting in approximately 75 to 80% volume reduction of the stomach. The final group was randomized to undergo IMT plus a laparoscopic Roux-en-Y gastric bypass, which was again performed by a single surgeon, creating a 15 to 20 milliliter gastric pouch, a 150 centimeter Roux limb, and a 50 centimeter biliopancreatic limb. 50 patients were randomized to each of the three treatment arms. The groups were well-matched, all with approximately eight to nine years of diabetes history since diagnosis, a mean age just under 50, and a mean BMI of about 37. The primary endpoint was defined as a hemoglobin A1C less than or equal to 6% at one year following randomization. At 12 months, the primary endpoint was reached in 12% of patients with medical therapy while 42% of the gastric bypass group and 37% of the sleeve gastrectomy group met the endpoint, which was statistically significant. Interestingly, all of the patients in the bypass group met that endpoint without the need for diabetes medications. In this figure, the authors represented the change in A1C over the 12-month study period following randomization. You can see that all groups showed a decreased A1C at three months but the A1C remained lowest for patients treated with bariatric surgery in addition to medical therapy. To summarize the outcomes of the three groups, the patients who underwent bariatric surgery plus intensive medical therapy showed better glycemic control, they lost more weight, and they were more likely to be off diabetes medications at one year compared to the intensive medical therapy patients alone. Of note, 22% of patients randomized to the gastric bypass group had adverse events requiring hospitalization. In 2017, the five-year outcomes were reported from these patients by the same investigators. The five-year data showed that bariatric surgery plus intensive medical therapy was more effective than intensive medical therapy alone in achieving glycemic control. At five years, patients with bariatric surgeries also had increased and sustained weight loss. These results had important implications in support of the durability and the efficacy of the surgical treatment of obese patients with diabetes. Again, I'm Patrick Swigert. I'm a general surgery resident at Loyola University Medical Center in Illinois. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach me at my email or via my Twitter. Thanks for listening.